Our next guest recently introduced a new bill that links border security to aid for Ukraine, Israel, and other U.S. allies. Let's bring in Congressman Jim Costa, Democrat from California. Congressman, welcome. Anna, thank you very much. It's great to be on News Nation this morning. Thank you so much. We, I want to talk about your bill, but first, let's talk about the State of the Union last night. President Biden, a bit combative. He laid out his agenda on issues like economy, social issues. He went after Republicans, even called out the Supreme Court. How do you think he did? Do you think this speech was a game changer that Democrats, Democrats wanted to hear? I think it was a very important speech. I think it was very much welcomed by Democrats. It was feisty. It was forceful. And it was positive. It talked about, and this is my 20th uh, State of the Union uh, address that I've heard uh, in the years that I've served with both Republicans and Democrats. But I thought Joe did a great job. I mean, he really, as any president does when they talk about the, to the country, the State of the Union, where we've been, where we are, and where he intends to continue to, to provide leadership if, uh, if we continue to work together. And I think that's exactly what he did uh, last night in a very strong and forceful way. I think he laid out uh, the economies up, uh, 14 million new jobs, the fact that uh, the uh, unemployment is the lowest it's been in 50 years, the fact that inflation is coming down, gas prices are coming down, 800,000 new manufacturing jobs, we're making it in America again. He was very forceful with that. Talked about women's uh, uh, right to choose, reproductive uh, issues that are so important to over half our nation's population. He talked about the necessity to invest in our health care system, uh, which is so critical, and the importance of the negotiation of uh, prescription drugs for all Americans, uh, the mm -hmm. fact that those who have diabetes, uh, you know, should not be paying $400 for their insulin. So I think it was a very, very comprehensive speech. And it talked about our responsibility as uh, the leader of the world with Ukraine, the situation in Israel, uh, the um, need for humanitarian assistance, which defending our borders and defending our democracies act is all about the legislation that this bipartisan legislation that we've introduced and, yeah. and knowing that China and Russia are adversaries. Let's talk about your new bill, sir, to boost border security, aiming to achieve operational control of our country's borders for a year, and also requiring, requiring immigration officers to step up expulsions. What would that involve exactly, sir? Well, I think we take on the negotiations that took place in the Senate between Senator Langford and Senator Murphy, and we try to uh, take those parts of it that had strong bipartisan support. That's what this legislation reflects. As a matter of fact, uh, James Langford and I served together in the House, and I saw him in the well last night, and I thanked him for his efforts. And I said, you know, Jim, I says, uh, under the category of no good deeds, goes and punished. We thank you for the four months of hard work. Hopefully we can build on that and get this passed with this legislation. Let's dive into your bill a bit further. It seeks $47 billion for Ukraine's defense, includes billions to defend Israel and Taiwan. I should mention there are some leaders within your own party on the House side that they say that they prefer the Senate passed bill. What are they missing and how is your bill different? Well, I support the Senate legislation as well. But what we're trying to do is if the speaker is unwilling to uh, bring that legislation to the floor to provide an alternative. And if we are able to get this uh, Defending Our Borders, Defending Our Democracies Act on the floor, uh, we can also use the amending process to improve upon it. So it, uh, I just came back from Ukraine uh, Two weeks ago Saturday, I met with the Ukrainian parliament and members of the Ukrainian government. And these brave people are not only fighting for their country and, and their democracy, but in a sense, uh, democracies around the world. Uh, this is a fight that we're all in it together with uh, Russia's uh, uh, attack, uh, war criminal President Putin, who has kidnapped over 40,000 Ukrainian children, bombed hospitals and schools. He is a war criminal. Uh, to be blunt. Uh, Russia today is a syndicate pretending and masquerading to be a country with a mob boss called Putin. And and that's, America's got to re remind the world that we are stand with freedom and we stand with democracies and we are still the beacon of light for all of those values we share. Congressman Jim Costa, thank you so much for joining us this morning.